Good morning, lovelies. Um, so, I was originally going to go to the um, Renaissance Fair that our um, area does this weekend, and that's what I was going to film, but we're not going to do that. So, I'm going to give you a kind of a day in the life, what I'm eating, all that kind of stuff. It is Friday, September 16th. Um, it's like 7.30, I think. 7.30. Um, and I wanted to first show you guys how I make my protein coffee. I have posted this a lot on like my Snapchat or like my Instagram and I've had people ask me a bunch how I make my protein coffee. And it's, to be honest, super simple. So uh, there's two different brands of protein powder that Michael and I have. We have our my protein, and we always do the, um, the stevia sweet and stuff. I don't like sucralose. So this is the vanilla stevia, which goes really well with um, pumpkin pie spice because <laughs> it's fall. So this is how I actually make homemade pumpkin spice lattes is um, a little bit of vanilla protein and then um, a little like sprinkling of this. I don't go too heavy on this because it's really like there's a lot of spice to it and it'll be really, really potent to you if you don't are not used to that at least. Um, or we use, oh god, my trick girl, this huge tub. Do, 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 do. The Legion Whey Plus, and I used the Dutch chocolate, and this is actually how I started protein coffee, was by using this, and this tastes like a homemade mocha. Um, there's two differences between them. I, okay, also, I don't, I would not use, oh, my arms are getting really tired. Um, I would not use um, vegetable-based protein. It just, it's, the texture is just not the same. It just tastes funky. Um, the way kind of, it's like if you like milk in your coffee, it's the same thing. Um, but you always get some protein with it. Um, the difference between the two is with the Legion protein powder, I use only a half a scoop. And with the, um, my, no, no, not my nutrition, my protein, I only use, um, I use a full scoop. So um, start with a half scoop of whatever you're using and mix it, taste it, see how it tastes, and then um, add more if you need to, if it's not sweet enough for you or whatever. Um, the other difference is with the Legion protein powder, I have to um, stir while I'm adding it. Otherwise, it clumps super bad, and then you get, like, graininess on the top. It's really gross. With the, um, my nutrition, my nutrition, what the heck am I saying? My protein, um, you can mix the entire, like, you can literally throw the whole scoop in, mix it up, and it's good to go. So, um, start with, like, slowly adding it in while mixing, because you obviously don't want to just throw it in and pray to God it actually mixes, right? So, try that first. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I make mine. I also have one of these little, like, milk frother thingies that I got for Michael to make matcha, which he never makes anymore. But it works wonders with mixing um, protein into coffee. So, I'm going to show you how to make mine. trained chef or husband as he makes you breakfast. <laughs> what are we having? You're having oatmeal, you're having scrambled eggs, and I'm having an omelet. Sounds good to me. Part one of breakfast is two eggs scrambled, salt and pepper cooked in... what was it cooked in? Butter? Half a tablespoon of butter because I don't like my eggs cooked in anything but butter. So, screw it, butter it is. Part two of breakfast is a third cup of oatmeal, brown sugar, raisins. Is there cinnamon in this? No cinnamon. Oh. Husband didn't put cinnamon in my oatmeal. You're the 
one that put, put it in the bowl. It's not my fault. Ah. <laughs> That's his breakfast. Oatmeal, omelet with cheese. And a ton of water because that man drinks so much water. So it doesn't really matter what day it is, what my schedule is. I always have snuggle time with this old guy. It's mostly how I spend my time at home is snuggling the cat. Huh. Yeah. Alright guys, so it's noon. We're just finally dressed and getting on with our day. <laughs> We've been working all day. Okay, we've been working on our computers, but we're finally like dressed and actually like Doing presentable. Um, we are heading over to my in-laws for a little bit, and then we're gonna quit lunch, and then we're gonna go to Target. And we have two Targets in our town. We have a Target that's like what, like 10 minutes away from us? 10 to 15? Something like that, and it's like a Target, huh? About 15. About 15. And it's like um, a Target in a mall. Oh, no, no, that's only about five minutes away. Sorry, that one's like only five minutes away. But it's depends on how bad it's re it is. Yeah, it depends. Okay, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> um, but it's like a really small Target. It's a two-story, but it's a really small Target. Um, and then we have another Target that okay, I would say it's more like twenty minutes away. Um, is like a huge target. It's not it's not like one of those like super targets or something, but it's a really big target compared to the one we have. And we're going to that one because I'm really, really trying to find these damn pumpkin spice Oreos so I can try them. And we have not had them at our target that's closer to us. So I'm hoping the one that's a little bit farther has them and I'm hoping they'll have like their Halloween section and everything. So it's very easy for me to get lost in time in that target and come out poor, which is why he's with me, because he'll actually control my spending. <laughs> it's, I swear to God, it's like, oh, Target is hypnotizing. You go in and you're like, I'm going in for paper towels, and you come out with like 10 outfits, some workout stuff, five books, cupcakes you didn't even know you wanted, like the most random crap and then you forget the paper towels. So he's there to control me. So I'll bring you guys along. Hello! What are you doing? Hello! Hi, oh, hello! Oh, hello! <laughs> what are you doing? Come here! The stars need to align, honey. finished lunch with my in-laws and it's 2.15. We volunteer at our old high school um, with the football program. We were on the scoreboard with my in-laws um, and that the game starts at 5 so cannot go to Target. Um, but eh, oh well. I'll find those damn Oreos, though. I swear, I will find those freaking Oreos. Besides, we got to have really nice lunch. Yeah, we did get to have really nice lunch and got cupcakes and everything. The place we went to um, actually did our wedding cake. So very popular around very, this area. Yeah, they're very popular around here. And I got a carrot cake cupcake, which is what one of the flavors of our wedding cake was. Um, the other flavor was red velvet. Um, I got a carrot cake, you got a black forest cupcake, so really good. I don't think I've gotten a dessert there I didn't like, um, but yeah, we're gonna go home. I think I'm gonna nap a little bit, because we do the JV and the varsity games, um, 
So we're there till like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, depending on whenever the, um, the game ends. <laughs> So depends on how many penalties get called, how many times the kids like to hold each other when they're uh, yeah, the, supposed to be. You know? The refs in our area are really flag happy. They love throwing penalties. But um, it's really funny because I've been out of high schools for seven years. And Michael's been out for nine. And I'm pretty positive there has not been a year that's gone by that n we haven't volunteered in some capacity with the high school. Um, I coached cheerleading for two years. You've been doing those scoreboards since I was in high school, right? Yeah, so he's been doing it the entire time. Um, we helped install the scoreboard. Yeah, they helped install our scoreboard, so. We volunteered more than a couple times helping chaperone kids to go to grad night. <laughs> Chaperoning grad night, I did that once and I'll never do it again. That was pure hot mess. I got the flu, it was just, <laughs> buses whatever, broke down. buses broke down, whatever bad could happen, happened. That so, was just a nightmare. Yeah, it was a nightmare. I was never, I will never do that again. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go home. I'm gonna take a nap, gonna relax a little bit, and then we're gonna layer up, grab up all of our layers, and take them with us to the game. Because we sit. All right, so we are driving to the football game. Well, driving to Starbucks into the football game. Um. So normally, in like a day in the life thing for me, I would have a workout in. Um, however, <laughs> as of late, I just haven't been working out. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I haven't been feeling like working out. My anxiety, so I've had depression and anxiety since I was 15. And it's mostly controlled, but as of late, it's been, um, bad, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I've been kind of really anxious all the time. I feel really stressed out with so much that I'm doing to expand my business and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's really, it's not just like normal stress. It's like really high anxiety. Um, I haven't been sleeping well at night. Um, I haven't been able to eat the foods that I want to eat. So um, I... I just kind of I've had an eating disorder for a couple of years now and when I get really stressed it gets really bad so when I'm really stressed I don't want to eat or stuff that I normally would eat like I can't eat chicken right now and I've never had a problem with chicken and I can't eat chicken right now my stomach just will not process it it's it's like really uncomfortable so I just don't eat it but it's taken a lot of like normal stuff I would eat away so I haven't been fueling right either um, to work out. So I just I haven't worked out in ages. Um, and coffee. Coffee. <laughs> hey, um, people, I hate. The traffic here is just insane now. Um, sorry. Okay, so just a side note here. We live in Santa Cruz area, okay? It used to be, when I moved here 14, 15, 14-ish years ago, it was so calm and quiet here. It got busy during the summer because we are, we do have the beach boardwalk near us and it's beachy and people from San Jose would come over the hill and like, okay, that's normal during the summer. I am really, really effing annoyed because people from San Jose have been moving over here because they can't afford places in San Jose and this place is the same price as San Jose. It does, it's not any cheaper here. But they are coming over here now. There's so much traffic when there has never been traffic. In the middle of the freaking day on our back roads, there's traffic everywhere and it is just annoying. Like, I hate it. I can't stand it. It's like a quaint little beach town is no longer a quaint little beach town. Over. We are on our way to the football game. If we can ever get there with traffic. Um, oh God. Pedal on the right. Oi. This is also why it's not good for us to have children, because we're both kind of like, brah, when we have, when we're in the car and there's traffic. <laughs> He's kept it quiet during this drive. He can be a very, 
angry driver. Trying not to be. He's trying not to be. Okay, so him and his stepdad worked together, and they had been working out in Ohio for a while, so they kind of rented an apartment out there. They were driving back with the trailer. This is dry How long is the trailer? The, the one you brought to Ohio? 25 feet. 25 feet. Okay, so this trailer is 25 feet on top of their truck that they drove with. This idiot... Was it a guy with a horse? Was it the guy with the horse trailer? No, the one coming back was the guy that wouldn't let us merge. Okay, so this guy wouldn't let him merge. And our lane was ending. As their lane was ending. So traffic, nobody's going anywhere. Yeah. He would not get from. It, he wouldn't let us come over. I just refused him. And was that the moment the little kid was flipping you off? <laughs> That's a different story okay. as well. See, he's still an angry driver. Okay, long story short, however it worked out, they, this little kid in this car is flipping him and his stepdad off. That was, no, that was my mom and I in Santa Cruz when somebody, we were driving my aunt's car with the Nevada plates. Oh, that's right. And mind. he was mad that we wouldn't, that we were going straight down the road, the light was green, and we were going, and we didn't just let him into the road. He was turning off or off one of the side roads and onto this main road. And he was upset that we wouldn't let him in. And so he's yelling at us, go back to Nevada. Blah, blah. They're from here, by the way. But the, his little kid is flipping them off. And, uh, yeah. It's like, what well, bad parenting. But the story I'm talking about is, it was the horse trailer one. That was coming back from Utah. Uh, okay, so that was coming back from you in Arizona. Arizona, they work all the Other place I work at. <laughs> the guy... Okay, I, in jet, but you had a slam on your brakes, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it had a slam on their brakes because this horse trailer decided to get in front of them even though there wasn't any room. And Michael, I kid you not, rolls down the window, is hanging out the window, flipping the guy off in the, in the truck next to him when they get by it. And it's just, to this day, it's just like he could be an angry driver. We drove by after he pulled out in front of us, made us slam on the brakes, and as we're driving by, he flips us off. Set that one off. And I just... He just lost it. Snapped at that, like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> he's an angry driver. I'm an angry driver. I was a passenger. He, okay, he's, you're still an angry driver. <laughs> I'm an angry person in car, because I don't like people, and I don't like the unpredictability of people. So... Anyway, we are almost to our high school, so I'm gonna turn it off for now. And I'll get some filming during the game, kind of show you guys what we do. Um, obviously it's the next morning. Um, by the time we got back from the football game last night, I was so stinking tired. I literally just stopped playing with the box. Hey, you. Um, I immediately put on my pajamas and just went right to bed. So I didn't do a sign off last night, but it's kind of a good thing I didn't because I got a package today from Slap Nutrition. Um, I ordered one of their slap stacks. Um, so I discovered Slap Nutrition is another one that's really good with protein coffee, by the way. Um, I discovered Slap Nutrition by Brittany Lesser talked about them. She's a, one of their sponsored athletes, um, on her YouTube. And like I said earlier, I don't like, what is going on here? Oh, goody. I've got a, I'll sore. Goody, sorry guys. Um, so, like I said earlier, I don't like protein powder or anything sweetened with sucralose. It doesn't do well with my stomach. It's not natural. I don't like it. Well, a lot of good protein powders are flavored with sucralose. Anything that's other than like chocolate vanilla. 
Um, and so when she talked about Slap, I was like, well, I'll check them out and see what, what they are. I've never even heard of them. And lo and behold, they're sweetened with sucralose, or not, not sucralose, they're sweetened with stevia. So I ordered a, um, a small, like they have little travel packets. So I ordered a couple of the, sorry guys, my cat's going crazy cakes this morning. I ordered a couple, um, of their small travel size packets um, just to try out the flavors because I don't want to order an entire tub if I don't like it. And they have cake batter flavor which is like my favorite flavor of stuff is birthday cake or like cake batter or something of that sort. And so I ordered I think the, the they have a, I ordered the birthday cake one, cinnamon swirl because Michael's favorite thing in the whole wide world is cinnamon rolls and then I think peanut butter and they sent, when I got the package from them, like, maybe a week ago, week and a half, they sent me all of their protein powder flavors for free, which I thought was really sweet of them. And there was a handwritten note on, like, the order sheet and everything, which was, like, really awesome customer service. And so I tried the birthday cake. I really loved it. So I ordered their, <laughs> their stack that's called the Basic B stack. So let me show you what's in it. So the base also the okay so the basic B package itself comes with um, birthday cake whey protein, um, salted caramel BCAAs which sounded really good, and then pumpkin spice. Well, it's like pumpkin pie flavor. It's called Slap O Lantern Spice, but it's like pumpkin spice pumpkin pie pre workout which. I've, I've only ever had, like, fruit-flavored pre-workouts in BCA, so I'm interested to try those. And then they sent me free little packages again, which is really awesome of them. So they sent me birthday cake, cinnamon swirl, how'd you guys know I love those so much, cinnamon, or not cinnamon, um, chocolate, and vanilla. So I tried the chocolate in my um, protein coffee, and it was really good. These mix so well. And they even put my name on my little whey protein, which is so sweet of them. So, for the record, I'm not sponsored by them. I just really, really liked their um, protein and their customer service. And then, okay, let me hang on just a second here. Cover up my address. And see, they write like little written notes for you on here, which is like super sweet of them. So I'm not sponsored by them, but goddamn, I would love to be because they're such they're such a great company. That's like so awesome of a company to to take the time to write handwritten notes, write your name on your protein powder, and send you little you know. I'm sure these things are super cheap for them, but it's like that's so nice of them to send me free ones because you can never have enough protein powder in this house. Um, so yeah. Um, they also did free shipping, which I expected would be here in, like, a week. They gave me priority two-day shipping, which is pretty cool. So, stop chewing on the box. Ugh, this cat. It's just being a total brat today. Um, so give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you like day in the life kind of videos. I know this was a really scattered one. Um, my days are usually a lot more scheduled. <laughs> Um, but yesterday was just crazy cakes. So give this video a thumbs up, comment on anything else you'd like to see. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!